Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I just finished filming my new releases video with the 10 collections and I was about to start putting things away and I kind of figured I would just do it on camera. I'm basically going to go ahead and decide what my September and October like fall and Halloween lineup is going to look like in my own planner. And that is my little baby shrieking downstairs in happiness. He's with his daddy. He's fine. Um, I actually just went down between these two videos and fed him. So now he's happy. So I have these two albums from Simply Gilded. These are her large sticker albums. And inside I have some Halloween and fall items. I actually haven't looked through these in a while, like since putting them in here. And I'm gonna start by pulling out everything that's in here. And then I'm going to kind of go from there. So I think what I'll do is I'll pick my four September and my four October collections. And these could change like as the weeks go on. If something specific happens in a week and I decide that I wanna use a different collection, like these are not set in stone but this is kind of like what I'm thinking. So for the first week of September, which is actually the week that I'm filming this, I think I wanna use this Oak Avenue collection. This is so pretty. I think it's a really nice like fall transitional collection. Definitely wanna use this collection. So I'm gonna put this in for the first week of September and I'm gonna add in the fashion boxes, the label sampler, and the double box comes with the Lux. Do I have a double box already? No. So I'm gonna put all of these in the first page. And that will be the first week of September, which is actually the week that it is right now. Next, I definitely wanna use Muggle Magic this year, and I don't know which week I'm gonna use this on. It's probably going to be a week that I actually do watch some Harry Potter movies, so the week could change, but I definitely wanna go ahead and get it in a September slot. I'm gonna add the Hufflepuff boxes because that's the house I am, the Fashion Girls, and the double box that comes with the Luxe and the label add-on, which I'll be honest, I haven't really been needing the label add-on with the new format. There's so many like functional stickers in the new format. There's a lot of the box stickers and um, I don't find myself using it often, but I'm just gonna put it in there just in case. I don't think that I have current date stickers in the shop. I need to bring those out with like the new weeks. Maybe I can do like the rest of this year and then all of next year in a release. I'll plan on doing that, but I do have these like blank. This is the character org blanks. I'm just gonna go ahead and hand write the weeks so that I can keep track. So this first one is going to be August 29 through September 4. And I can replace these little blanks once I get the new ones in. I'm gonna go ahead and just do these off camera just cause it's not very interesting. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these collections that I know that I wanna do for the Halloween months in there as well. So we have Halloween Town, which I definitely wanna add. This is new this year, it's exclusive and I love it. So I have that with the double box, the extra boxes and the label add-on. So I'm gonna add that in. I think I might put that I'm not sure since October 31st is on a Monday. I kind of hate that because like the last week of October, I feel like is this week and I don't know if I'm gonna wanna go into Christmas collections yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. I'm probably gonna use it on actual Halloween week. So either this week or the week after, I'm not sure. And then I definitely wanna use Foolish Mortals as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the week before. I also like how the colors of this one and this one are so different. I like to make the colors of my spreads, like I try to make them look different as you're flipping through so that it's, you know, fun. Okay, next I definitely wanna do the House of Haunt and the Dead and Breakfast. I think I'm gonna put them in the same pocket because I think that I probably will end up combining them somehow. So we'll go ahead and add, this is all House of Haunt, Dead and Breakfast over here as well. There's a lot of like extras to all these collections that I'm kind of trying to keep track of. Okay, 
So this is Dead and Breakfast, and this is House of Haunt. I'm gonna put that in. So then I know that I wanna leave a spot for my September mystery kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and save a spot, an empty one for that. And then I have one right now that's either going to be October or it's gonna be fall mystery. It's probably more likely gonna be fall mystery. So I'm gonna go ahead and save a spot for that one as well. There's a collection in my shop called Stop In For A Spell that is still in stock from last year that I wanna use. So I'm going to pull that from inventory and use that in one of the weeks. And then there's also a collection called Trick or Treat, which was an exclusive art collection from last year that I think I want to use as well. Whoop, treat or trick, LOL. Kind of save that a spot too. And then that might be everything. Yeah, because this one, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do a Halloween one or start moving into like Christmas or do another fall. I probably will just do Halloween because it is October 31st on that first Monday, but I might not because we'll probably be trick-or-treating over the weekend. I don't know. I'll have to see kind of how that falls, but I think I'll leave this one open for now. So then I want to go ahead and organize and kind of go through and see what I have for like fall and Halloween um, character stickers and any foil stickers I have. First up, I have some Halloween stickers from Fox and Cactus. I think she makes the funnest, cutest, most unique Halloween character stickers. I love her style, her humor. I just think it's really funny. So I do first have this like big booty ghost um, die cut. I have two of them actually because I love it. I'm going to put these in the front of my little thing for like decor just to like make me laugh because I think it's funny. Then I also have this one which is late night ghost. So this is like if you're working late but it's you know Halloween themed which I love. We have the O oh, dinosaur stickers with the meteor which I think is just so funny for when you're overwhelmed. We have the ghost cats, which we have some silly cats in this house. So I love these for literally so many different things, but I love this one where it's showing its butt. I think that's funny. And then I don't know why I got these. I think these are so funny, but these are the spooky, sexy girls. I just think they're so funny looking for date nights or whatever. And then I have some, I think those are like my newest ones from her, but I have a bunch of other ones from previous years. So I have these like zombie coffee cups, which I use a lot. I think this is my second sheet of it, the RIP with the little coffee cup for mornings where you're just having a struggle. Some of these spooky laptop girls for working days. I've used quite a few of those. We have another sheet of the spooky cats. We have these like flying off on a broomstick witches, giving the finger, these bats holding some happy mail, and these little like pumpkin faces, these hocus pocus friend stickers, spooky Halloween girls just like lounging in bed, the Halloween shopping girls, we have this cute cat in a pumpkin, and we have these black cats doing different things. So that was Fox and Cactus Halloween stickers. I am going to go ahead and put these, I probably will sort them by shop just because I tend to know my own collection. Like I, I know kind of what I have, especially now that I'm going through them to refresh my memory. Should I do that or should I do like most used ones together or should I maybe do them by theme? I'm not sure. Maybe I should do them by theme. I don't know. For now, I'm just going to put all Fox and Cactus in one pocket. Next up, we have Once More with Love. I have these little Hocus Pocus girls, one of my favorite all-time Halloween movies. I actually have two sheets of it. I've used a little bit of this one. We have these little zombie munchkins, which is perfect for when you are tired, which I always am because I have a five-month-old who feeds all night long. And then we have these little, like, ghost sticker munchkins. We have the haunted mansion munchkins. 
we have a Halloween deco sampler and we have the spooky mouse ears. Found another stack from Once More With Love. I have two of these like gold boo samplers. I have this one which is fall so it's like pumpkin playing in the leaves. I'll put that in a separate. I think I'll separate um, Halloween and fall stickers here. September versus October spreads. We have the fall bucket list. We have these little zero stickers, so that will be a Halloween one. We have the mini oogie boogies. We have some coffee cups. Oh, I love these. Just looking at all these again makes me so happy. And then we have the nightmare sampler. Then I have some stickers. Well, I'll go ahead and separate these. So we'll do Halloween and then we'll do fall. And then I have a few sheets from Whimsical Cat. So we have this like fall Halloween sampler with different things. I love the white cat and the pumpkin and the um, pumpkin spice latte stickers. We also have this, which is like a Halloween sampler. And we have this, which I don't know why I bought this because this movie creeps me out so much. And every time I see this sheet, I'm like so creeped out by it. So I don't know why I got it. Uh, I'm gonna hide that, but I got it because it's it's creepy and it's unique and it freaks me out. So there we go. I also have some fall and Halloween stickers from uh, Wonton and a Million. So we have this fall sampler. We have a Halloween sampler. Another fall one. Fall. Is that the same one? Autumn buns. Yeah, I have two of those. And then the fall bucket list. So I'll put those in. Probably we'll go through and reorganize these in a way that makes more sense, but for now, this is what we have. Last but definitely not least, we have a bunch of character stickers from my shop. A lot of these are sub stickers from various months. Um, I also have a few like Kisma, so this is Kisma Black Candle. We have the Teeny Tots in a pumpkin, which is super cute. We have Zombie Coffee Kisma, which is one of my favorites. I have a couple sheets of that actually. We have Out of Candy, Kisma, Carving Pumpkin. Then we have some Teeny and Bop. So we have Teeny Trick or Treating and Bop in Coming Out of a Pumpkin. Another Pumpkin Baby. We have um, Teeny Tots playing in the leaves. And we have some Hocus Pocus ones. I have a bunch more Kisma like fall stickers, I'm pretty sure. And honestly, like all of Kisma stickers work well because of the coloring and the theming of just her being like grumpy and dark um, for like Halloween spread. So I'm probably gonna pull a lot more of her things in here. But for now, I'm just gonna stick all of my character stickers in a pocket. I was just digging through one of my drawers to see if there were any more loose sheets and I found a few more die cuts from Fox and Cactus, which I love for Halloween. So this one says My Strange Addiction. This one is Halloweeny. <laughs> This one's a little ghost cat with a pumpkin. And then I also really like this card. So I'm going to put these in this fox and cactus pocket, but I might actually put this in the very front. I wish I had like one more pocket there. Okay, and then I found a bunch of foil. So first I have my fall bucket list. Um, foils in all the colors. I also have a Halloween bucket list, but I can't find it. So I'm going to look again in a little bit. And if I can't find it, I'm just going to pull some more from the shop. I also have the Halloween countdown stickers here in all the foils, and these are available on my shop. I have some blood splatter decos. I have some various like overlays. We have some alien ones. These ones are called, I think, bats and drips. They're on the shop. They're um, foil overlays for Halloween. We have some cobweb corners, Halloween faces. We have hocus pocus quotes. We have witch quotes in the foils. We have Halloween, Halloween quotes. I have some fall leaves in the different foil colors from Scribble Prints Co. And I have a couple of foil overlays for Halloween. I have this planet one and I have this kind of creepy one. I don't know if we have the washies in stock anymore. These are older um, from either last year or I think maybe even the year before. 
but whatever we have in stock is on the shop so i know a lot of these like quote overlays and stuff we do have some we have the countdowns we have the bucket list so you can check out what we have on the shop if you're interested but i'm gonna put all of these in a pocket put those in the pocket and then put these in the last one and that completes my fall and halloween little kit binder makes everything organized, keeps everything in one place so that when I go to do these spreads, everything is really easy. I just have this and then I can pull my character sticker binder. This is um, everything that's not seasonal. So just like my regular ones, which I probably won't have to dip into too much just because I have so many like Halloween and fall um, stickers. And then also I have my foil script um, binder here. So between those three little sections, I can do my spreads really easily and organized and that makes me happy. Let me know if this is the type of video you guys like to see. I can do another one for um, November, December for my Thanksgiving and Christmas spreads. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.